sword and ruffle, and Travis with bruised face and ripped deeds. Tell her, Lamont, just tell her. NIA Theatrical Production Company was formed in 1998 and we're located in Brooklyn, New York. And our mission is to create and produce the work of emerging playwrights and to find new audiences for their work. And, and our coming here to Barbados is just an extension of our mission to find and create new audiences. NIA is a company that is dedicated to helping young people and helping young writers and helping young actors perfect their craft and so they can go out into the world and become quality and very good artists. My assistant director, Evria Ince, is Barbadian and she came to me a couple years ago and said, uh, I would like to take a show to Barbados. I said, sure, fine. Uh, then we started talking about it and I just decided, well, we should do more than just a show. We should go there and do what we do here in New York, develop new works, bring new works to them, and help them uh, with their theater arts projects. Um, so that's how the project came about. It was called Ever Ends. And once I got here, um, we came here last May to set things up and that's when I met Miss Yvonne Weeks. And, and that from that point on, she and I have been talking, collaborating over the phone, over the email, and eventually we were able to set, set the program up, and here we are. You know how many seniors we have in the last two years? Three. You be that phone. Mm. The last one stay six months. How long you gonna stay? I have no time limit. I hope we stay long, around long enough to do something about that one of us food we be eating up in here, y'all. Words. What do you mean? I'll tell you what I mean. Hey, Mr. Jamaican man! On this trip, we brought two plays. We brought a play that we produced in New York back in 2012, a romantic comedy called Marry Me. We produced that uh, here. Today, at 2 o'clock, we're going to have a stage reading of another new play that we brought with us called No Place to Call Home, and that concerns foster care youth living in a foster care group home in Brooklyn, New York. And it features Bayesian actors. It stars the actors um, from the second year theatre arts program. A couple of graduates, Angela Lascelles, Matthew Mar Morell, Kimar Walcott, and one of our tech students also, Matthew Squires. The BCC graduates are the actors of the future. Um, and they are the trained actors of the future. They have not come under the, the old apprenticeship system. They've come under a system in which they've been trained by some of the best theatre practitioners in, the, in Barbados. And so therefore they're going to come to the craft with a whole new mindset, a whole new set of understandings, new skills, new aptitudes and knowledge that will, I think, benefit the industry as a whole. They, they benefited also because they would have heard some of the same things that I would have said and the other tutors would have said to them. And also, they can, you can never lose from working with other people. I get a chance to see new actors, I see new artists, uh, get a chance to work with them, um, get a chance to find out how they produce theater here in, in Barbados, and they get a chance to see how we produce theater here as well. So it's, it's a good exchange in terms of that we are both collaborating and working together and learning from each other. Our play development program is a part of the cultural exchange program where we are recruiting Bayesian playwrights and we're asking them to send us their plays, send them the things that they think they really want to produce and we'll take a look at it and if we find it worthy we'll, we'll, we'll recruit them to be a, become a part of our play production program and then they may come to New York and produce the show there at the either, either stage reading or the full stage production. And we will bring them to New York and maybe bring them back to Barbados and produce it here as well. <laughs>